I'm staying in Bundoran for my next slice of Irish life, too. Since I've been recovering from my breast cancer diagnosis, I've been focusing a lot on my health, fitness and nutrition. And one of my new daily habits is a breathwork exercise. While there are different opinions about how breathing can help people feel better, physically and mentally, breathwork is an increasingly popular activity all around the world. So I'm interested to meet Patrick McEwen, who lives here on the west coast of Ireland, but has found an international audience for his own theories, which focus on breathing more slowly and through the nose. Patrick, let's start in the beginning. What exactly is breathwork? I mean, we all breathe every single day, you know, 20, 25,000 times. So what's the, what's the exercise of breathwork? I suppose it's understanding what, by changing breathing patterns, what can you do to your own physiology? And two main things would be, you can either down-regulate or you can up-regulate. Right, so you can calm yourself or you yes, can... Yes, you can stress yourself. Stress yourself. What are the advantages of breathing through the nose? What happens when you breathe through the nose? I think the most important advantage is that it slows down your breathing pattern. And if we breathe fast, the body is telling the brain that the body is not safe. And that was my pattern 20 years ago, plus, you know. And I know the effect it had on my concentration the effect it had on my sleep. Like, I was in school, I had no more interest sitting in the classroom when I didn't have the capacity to hold my attention on what the teacher was saying. When I changed my breathing patterns in 1998, I will literally say it improved my sleep dramatically, but it made me better cope with the situations that were unfolding around me. Breathing has given me a softness to life which I wouldn't have had. Mm. I'm sure living in this beautiful part of the world also helps. I think there's a different quality of life here. The, the weather doesn't always be in the right place for us, but there's a ruggedness and there's a beauty and there's a natural, I don't know what the word is, but a natural feeling that, I think there's a spiritual connotation here as well. And, you know, aside from say religion, but in terms of the degree to which we can connect with everything around us, I feel I can do it easier in this place. So Julia, I think this is a wonderful exercise to incorporate into our walk because we can all get out for a walk 15, 20 minutes a day and we can also do a breathing exercise. So it's training for the body, training for the breath, but also training for the brain. We start off, take a normal breath in through your nose and out through your nose and pinch your nose and hold your nose and just holding your breath for about 10 paces or so. And after 10 paces then, it's to let go of your nose, to breathe in through your nose, and then continue walking, breathing in and out through your nose. And, and just now, continue normally. Exactly, just normal breathing in and out through your nose for about a half a minute to a minute. And I think it's always wonderful to breathe out through the nose because on the exhale breath, the nose is capturing the moisture and heat from the exhale breath. And this helps to prevent dehydration, for example. So it's not about breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. The nose is in and out. So in again, and, out. and what better place to bring our attention out of the mind and into the body and into the moment. So Julia, where is your attention right now? Absolutely, that's, that's where we want to go towards. So when you breathe through your nose during physical exercise, such as a walk, it helps to desensitize air hunger. So the more you breathe through your nose during physical exercise, the easier it gets. And it's practice. It's practice. And that's what it's all about. Patrick, it's been amazing. I could spend all afternoon doing these exercises with you here. It's so stunning. I want to go for a big, long walk along that beach now. <laughs> <laughs>